All signs currently point to a resurgence in nuclear power and increasing demand for uranium. Among the most significant are uranium pushing past $92 a pound to a new 16-year high and the completion of the first new US nuclear project in decades in Georgia, with a second reactor also nearing completion. But by far the most substantial symbol of rapidly changing attitudes to nuclear in the past year has been Japan, with the country's nuclear regulator lifting a ban in December on the world's largest nuclear plant, closed after the Fukushima accident in 2012. It's also no coincidence that the uranium price has now reached a post-Fukushima high. The plant had been idle since 2012 following the 2011 Japanese earthquake and was also banned from operation in 2021 following safety breaches. But Tokyo Electric Power's Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear plant has now had its operational ban lifted by Japan's nuclear regulator, meaning it can now seek approval to restart after the regulator acknowledged that previous safety issues had been addressed. The world's attitude towards nuclear power made a significant shift in 2011 after the Fukushima accident, a major nuclear incident caused by an earthquake and subsequent tsunami. The damage to the electrical grid and backup power to the plant's cooling systems led to overheating and radioactive material being released. Despite no deaths resulting from the accident, concerns about the safety of nuclear power erupted, with Japan ultimately shutting down all but one of its reactors and other countries like Germany choosing to close all their plants although Angela Merkel's decision is more plausibly a response to the electoral threat of the anti-nuclear Green Party. So Japan's turn back to nuclear is symbolically important, beyond the restarts of the reactors themselves and the imagery of the world's largest nuclear plant. Japan's shift has been dramatic, going from no active reactors in 2012 to 11 reactors having restarted since 2015 and a further 16 in the process of restart approval, according to the World Nuclear Association. The energy crisis in the past two years, along with the inflation that followed, and the fact that Japan has to import about 90% of its energy requirements, has clearly focused the minds of Japanese politicians. But it's also had an impact on public opinion, with a majority of Japanese citizens in favor of restarting Japan's nuclear reactors in 2023 for the first time since the accident. Whether the recent earthquake Japan suffered on New Year's Day will have changed this perception remains to be seen, but citizens may find reassurance in the fact that this most recent seismic event caused no issues for the country's nuclear plants. The plant closest to the quake did in fact lose its grid connection, but the new safeguards and backup systems prevented any issues.